Virgo, this is going to be for the week of March 10th through March 16th. I am using the Numinous Warrior Energy. We have Capricorn, the Boss, and Fifth House Passions coming out. Uh, it could be about taking control of a situation. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. The word serious is sticking out to me, Virgo. It's like time to get serious. All right, Challenger Obstacle. We have Angel of Love. Six Chakra coming out for Lesson Learn. Hostilities is here. I do see the Envy card on the bottom. Um, six Chakra, Third Eye, Brow Chakra. We actually talked about that right at the beginning when I was talking about the energies, um, Pisces, New Moon. And I feel like a lot of us are experiencing some third eye activations at this time. Um, for those of you that meditate, how many of you feel like in your meditation, your third eye is becoming like a main point or like a main uh, focus or main, mm, I don't know, I'm not, I feel like I'm not finding the right word. Um, okay, so when I'm meditating, um, I feel like I kind of just focus on that third eye area, right? Um, right between the brows, um, kind of like in the center of the forehead. And when you're in, you know, in deep meditations, I don't mean like just a few breaths, you know, deep breaths in your car because you're having a rough day. I mean like deep meditations. Um, I feel like you can almost... I don't know, it just feels like all, everything that's being activated or happening is happening through that portal or that chakra, right? And for a lot of us, for me especially, it feels like I'm being shown, right? Being shown things, um, like different things, like different opportunities. Um, sometimes I feel like I'm being shown like where I've detoured off the path and caused, you know, the journey to be more challenging or more difficult than it needed to be. Um, people, being shown people, right? Like, yay, that's fun. Um, when those rose colored glasses come off, right? And you, you see everyone, including yourself, right? Um, you know, without those tinted glasses. Angel of Love is here in your Challenger Obstacle, Virgo, and it says this is about unconditional love. This angel comes down when unconditional love is needed. All right, so Capricorn, the boss. We have the moon, fear, emotions. We have the strength card again, um, Leo energy, internal conflict. Uh, really having to dig deep for something. And again, we have Page of Swords. Page of Swords is someone's watching. Um, I'm definitely getting this energy with Page of Swords like younger children. So you could have younger children. It's like they're watching your actions, how you handle a situation, um, what you say about it, what you do about it, that type of thing. It definitely could say here, Virgo, that someone's watching and they're just scared to say something, scared to be vulnerable, scared to open up. Um, Angel of Love, Challenger Obstacle, Ace of Swords is here. New communication, new clarity, new understanding. Page of Pinnacles, a new offer. The Pinnacle, I'm sorry, the Peacock does give you masculine energy with this card. Taurus energy coming out again with the Hierophant. This is the second time we've seen the Hierophant. So let's pay attention and see if the Hierophant comes out um, for all three. I will say, I feel like with the water signs and the fire signs, um, it was this energy of like waiting for something and being really close to getting something but it's like you have to push a little harder for the earth signs i feel like it's already here um king of wands is also here king of wands is like being really confident in your abilities and that card is falling on that third eye on the card that's supposed to help you with the challenge or obstacle so it's like you see something now clear and that should make you more confident um, or maybe even more able to have this unconditional love, right? The magician is here. That's your energy. Um, again, again, it's Mercury energy, but um, it's about calling, like, um, using all your resources, um, calling in all the elements, um, manifesting the things that you want, 
And King of Cups is here. This could have something to do with divine masculine. That could be the thing that you want. Hostilities is here. Three of Swords is the outcome. This is about healing this hostility. So I don't feel like this is what's happening this week, Virgo. It's not like someone's going to be hostile towards you. I feel like they already were, right? And that's the situation you're having to heal. The King of Cups could be um, where the hostile energy came from, or it could also be like the why, right? And then Ace of Cups is here, an overflow of emotion and Wheel of Fortune, like things change, things finally start to bend in your favor. Virgo, Seven of Pentacles is here, and Seven of Pentacles says you have to be patient, again, just a little bit longer, but again, this one's going to be a little bit different than regular Seven of Pentacles, because you can already start to see that her Pentacles have already bloomed, like she's got her basket, and she's fixing to go start to pick some of these Pentacles, right? The point of the card, or the energy, is to not overdo something, not overpick something. Feel like you've already dealt with that hostile situation and it's time about it's something about like um healing it or allowing it to heal so cancer energy pisces energy leo energy taurus virgo and sagittarius You started out with Capricorn. All right, be aware is here. And number three, caution, refrain from action. Give it time to heal, Virgo. Preparing is here. It says right intentions bring success. And the power of active devotion is here. All right. Love that, the power of active devotion. Moonology Oracle to close it out for Virgo. Again, a time for healing, a boss make moon. We have expect powerful changes. What do you need to release? I shuffled, I swear. Confidence is your key to success. There it is, new moon in Leo. All right, I'm going to leave it right there, Virgo. I hope that was helpful. If it was nice, tap that like button for me.